she looks like she's in charge. She's standing behind a table. You see a very beautiful woman with a sad look in her eyes. Yeah, they always are when they look at me. <laughs> ah, are you the leader of this gang? Gang? I'm well, hardly a gang, but I'm the one they all come to for direction. Well, you look like a gang to me. I wish we were a gang. At least then we'd have a decent, decent weapons to defend ourselves with. Defend yourself from who? We need better weapons. The gun runners a little way from here have weapons and we can't get to them. Why can't you? There's a death claw nest between us and them. We have never even spoken with any of the gun runners. The regulators have the firepower to clear out the death claws, but they don't for some reason. Uh, where can I find gun runners? Gun runners over to the east and then north of the here of here. But be careful, death claws are not taken lightly. I've seen a death claw tear a man in half with one swipe. I'm gonna see what I can find out. This is an interesting situation. It seems to be these people are not the monsters that Zimmerman claimed they were. Not at all. They're a bunch of fucking poor people and don't even have any weapons. Obviously he's been fooled by these regulators because these people are some kind of rivals. This is not um yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do that quest. I'm not just going to kill her for no fucking reason. She's harmless. She's not a monster that he claims her to be. So I need to learn more about what's going on here. So maybe I should... Uh... Well, the trouble is, if, 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 if they do find the gunrunners and get a bunch of guns, all it's going to do is lead to a gang war and kill a lot of people. So, what's the right thing to do? I do not know. Okay, oh, there's the children of the cathedral. Oh no, that's the followers of the apocalypse. Okay, <laughs> for some reason I thought the cross would be the, uh, uh, the church. Don't worry about that idea. Interesting music church. Oh, hello. It's just knowledge is life. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Kind of. Although, you know, ask a pigeon if knowledge is life. Does that mean, you know, stupid people are dead? <laughs> Ignorant people, I mean. Uh, okay, what's this place? Oh, this looks like... What do you want? A donut. <laughs> what are you doing here? None of your business. Alright, fine. Well, who am I to question a room full of guys with guns? A thug. Oh, what's that say? See a burly bounty hunter with a button that reads, I'm Christopher and you're meat. Right. Okay. Uh. Alright, so this is the library. And. Hmm. Well, let's check out the followers while we're here. Maybe they know something. That's what they're all about, isn't it? Uh, welcome to the followers of the apocalypse. Yeah, how are you talking to me? Are you talking to me through the wall? Go in the wrong door. Okay, let's go in this way. Yeah, lots of books. Katya. You're not from around here. Who are you? My name's Jim. And what am I ask you doing in the boneyard? Uh, I'm just an explorer. Just a traveller. I've heard that one before. Nobody comes to the boneyard except those hub merchants and people looking for a quick death at the hands of the gangs. What are you really here for? Well, I was looking for a water purification ship. Don't know anything about that. Don't see much of that kind of tech here in the boneyards except maybe the stuff that Mars works on. Can you tell me more about the boneyards then? Tell me about the blades, yes. I've dealt with them before. They're not too bad as far as gangs go. They have a hideout in an old club with some outposts. If you're careful, you might be able to get one of them, some of them to talk. Okay. Maybe I should try that some more. Tell me about the gunrunners. The gunrunners used to be a real gang, but they went soft. They started setting up a deal where they trade weapons that they get from their victims or buy from the hub. Since nobody is up for the trip to the hub, personally, they do a good business, even though their prices are high. How about the followers? The followers of the apocalypse are a group of peace preachers who live in a large library near the heart of the boneyard. 
Why they haven't been wiped out yet, I can't say. They are lousy combatants and have no understanding of the real world. Are you talking about yourself? <laughs> Other than that, they're polite and well educated. What can you tell me about Adtim? Adtim is my original home. A little too boring for me, though. It's a fenced off and self sufficient town in the south end of the barnyard, but not as far as the cathedral. We sometimes trade with the hub. Uh, I need to know about the area around the city. The Boneyard is a pretty hostile place. I've never had the opportunity to leave, though. At uh, leave, though I suppose I'd take it. Let's see, just south of here you have the cathedral. There's some sort of cult there. But I stay away from them. Something sinister is going on there. Also, I've heard about the trading centre called the Hub, and caravans occasionally show up. But I've never been there. Yeah. Thanks for the information. Okay. All knowledge is holy. Please respect the sanctity of our library. You may apply for a library card in the admin office. Keep your voice down. No using mobile phones and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, who are you? Who, which of you are real people? Um. You there? Walking through the hole in the wall. Yeah, you must be around here somewhere, can you? Really? I'm searching for. I just talked to her. She's like standing around. Um, hmm. God damn it. Oh, there's a way down there. Uh -huh. You look interesting. No, no, apparently not. Can I get there? Stop it. Uh, who's standing in a room on their own looking important? Oh, what the hell? You look strange. A hideous ghoul. <gasps> hideous. Greetings, brother. My name is Talius. How might I assist you today? You can die! <laughs> I'm Jim. What are you doing here? I'm here to assist these good people in understanding the workings of the children of the cathedral. Uh... How can you know anything about the children? All I know of the children is that they are in league with the Nightkin, these super mutants. Oh, the Nightkin. It is they who transformed me from my original state of being in the Necropolis. Hmm. Why were you in the Necropolis? Some time ago, I lived in a place far to the north of here. They were having a problem with the water supply and sought out people to find a way to fix it. So you volunteered? Yes, the overseer of the community gave me a shotgun and some shells. However, those were lost many years past. Since I've never found anything, I could not return. Hmm. What was this place? The place from whence I came is in the mountains far to the north. It was a small vault in which many people lived. What was the name of this vault? My vault had no name. It was merely numbered 13. That's where I'm from. Really? Has the Overseer finally found his way through to allow people outside the vault? Now he fears for the safety of the dwellers. I believe to such. He was always a cautious man. I pity him his responsibility. May you fear better than myself on this fool's quest. Well, I'm not done talking to you now, Jesus. Is this guy... Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I heard some from some of the travellers that the necropolis was a way to which to produce water without much difficulty. What did you find? I found a great deal of those mutant things there. It was they who entrapped me and transformed me. Apparently they messed up because I took on a different evolutionary course rather than the enhanced one. Be sure to watch out. Oh, no, who led them? Who led them? The leader is the head of a mutant army. What he does is take pure humans and transform them. I'm not quite sure because I was knocked unconscious before the process. I will go and kill them for you then. I thank you for your kindness. You do me a great service. Please accept this as a token of goodwill. I purloined it from the body of a deceased renegade. Ooh. What? For God's sake, I wish people would tell me what they're giving me when they give it to me. Because I, I can't tell. 
flamer. <gasps> but now I'm overweight, even though I'm still able to run about. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. Oh man, I have a flamer. That's wicked. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I want to check this out. <laughs> oh god, I wish the inventory wouldn't scroll so slow. Yeah, 20 thingies. Ah, uh, minimum strength 6 though. A Flam 450 model flamethrower Varmiter variation fires a short spray of extremely hot flammable liquid. Yeah. I'll have to try it anyway. I wonder if it will even let me try it. But that's interesting. So that's one of the guys he sent out before and you know, the um the transformation he puts you through to make the mutants. I think the super mutants are created by that process of sticking them in the green goo. Uh but if you do it with people who are like um glorious day if you do it with people who are like radiated or something then uh, it turns them into something strange like this ghoul is there anything else I can get from him? how is it that you came into the realm of the followers? my entrance to the followers was quite simple really it was the followers who rescued me from the full effects of transformation once I was as you are now, a pure human, but through the intervention of the Nightkin, I was taken to some place far removed from here. The Nightkin are a variety of super mutants. I was not a, I was not of a state in which to observe much of what transpired. All I had known was that I awoke here and was tended by a good doctor. I will find those who did this to you and remedy the situation. Yeah. Okay, so do I actually have a quest there now? Like, let's fix the hydroponic farms. Brotherhood. Oh, that's that. That's, yeah, that's the Brotherhood. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just the same quest, really. And I imagine that that would be the final quest is, uh, uh, you know, dealing with the, the mutants, the super mutant guy who talks a lot 